Uh, so this machine is supposed to play the first half of the Hail to the Orange, the alma mater song, uh, on the chimes with the ball rolling down the track. Okay. And what kind of machine elements do you have in it? Uh, let's see. We have shafts, gears, uh, belt, springs, bearings, and a screw. Okay. I the screw is, is the ball longer. goes up the screw? Yeah. Okay. This one's uh, built to last lots of cycles, unlike some maybe. But uh, so it's got a shaft, or two shafts. Um, oh, what it does, it uh, just brings this bell. So this gets input power here, it brings that bell. Um, it's got shaft, belt, bearings, and this spring, which is like a hose clamp to keep touch on this top belt. Um, we have team number three. This is we named it Shot Happens. Um, it is an automated shot dispenser. Um, All together, we have um, shafts, um, belts and pulleys, bearings, gears, and uh, cam follower arrangement. Um, basically, the input comes in gear reduction, bottom level, power distribution, second level, and third level is where all the actual action happens, where the fluid's up top, and the full stopping mechanism is here, and we have a carousel for all the drinks here which they get filled intermittently each cycle. Ours basically is consists of shafts, bearings, belt, and springs, and it turns this thing that pushes down on a switch that lights up our miniature Christmas tree here. All right, so ours is a cuckoo clock. We have belt over here, and then we have minute hand and an hour hand turning. Uh, as long as the RPM is like 22 to 24, it's going to mimic hours and minutes pretty closely. Um, and as it spins, we have a little cuckoo bird pop out, and we have belts, shafts, gears, a cam follower over here moving the uh, bird, and also a spring to bring the bird back. This is team number six. Um, it's a very simple mechanism. It's goal is to raise these ball bearings um, up this uh, auger and then uh, have them ride down this copper uh, spiral and then back into a trough that will uh, we'll feed it again. Um, the elements that we have, we first have this shaft here that goes into these gears that goes into a uh, belt that drives a uh, small gearbox that actually then drives this piece here that we uh, scavenged out of a VCR. And then uh, that drives the auger itself, which uh, moves the balls up the shaft. And uh, at the top, we have just this uh, nice little ring that holds the balls in place until they drop down the shaft, and that's it. Uh, so what we have here is Travis Barker 2.0. He's a robotic drummer, and uh, he's so futuristic that he only plays one thing, and that's the cymbal. Um, and the way it, way it works is, oh, we're group number seven by the way, uh, you have the belt driving this guy and it goes through a gear right here um, and drives this shaft which turns a pulley and then uh, we have like a kind of a, a cam shaft here, if you will, and that pulls this down and there's a spring on the back and once it releases it, the spring rebounds and this guy smacks up and hits the, the, uh, the cymbal. So that's how it works. And the items that we have used are a gear, a couple gears, uh, shafts all over the place, we got a belt there, and lastly a spring. All right, we're team eight. Um, our base design, we have an automatic disco inferno, and uh, <laughs> while some may be built to last, we are built to last in style. Uh, <laughs> we have a uh, music box, it's gonna play music for two hours, disco ball. And our friend here is gonna is gonna party for all two hours too. So. We got uh, shafts, we got pulleys and belts, we have gears. Um, the power screw will slowly work its way up after two hours, and at the end, he may fall off if it reaches up to the top. And uh, we have bearings, and uh, I think that's all.
Four o'clock. 